Anime Cell Shading in Blender's 3.5 Real-Time Compositor. Let's check out this file. As you may have known previously, I released some tests and previews over my social networks to let you know that I was constructing this very simple anime cell shading, okay? This is very, very basic, very uh, using user-friendly plug-and-play stuff. So how does this work? Basically, you have uh, little parameters, such as grain in this case, to modify. But if you click on this and then you press tab, I'm going to press control space bar to maximize this. You will see all of the internal node factors that you can modify. Let me place this all the way over here so that you can see this in order that you have. For example, the blur and glow, if it's too much, you can, you know, download this, I'm sorry, downgrade the factor, downgrade the addition to, to that because it's uh, doing this operation. Then you have the red channel, green channel and blue channel uh, that you can offset. I have a, already offset it in this way because I think it's the most um, common positions for those channels. You can also blur them. There are a lot of things that we can create when we are trying to replicate the old classical anime look. This is just simple basic stuff, okay? I did not uh, do my entire possible network on this because I did not want to confuse you. Anyhow, anything that you will want to know, it's been uh, labeled and you can read it and see how things work out. And this is the way they mix. And finally, we get to the composition. One of the things that you would probably want to put your eye on is the singing character gradient, which basically tints your gradient um, into overlay for the character. Okay, I'm sorry, into add for the character. And then finally, we have the noise overlay. You can, you know, tile the noise if you want. Um, if you press tab, then you come out of the group. This is the shading group. So that's it. That's. Um, everything you need to know inside of the cell shading but uh, we have two different parameters that we need to plug images into because one of the uh, things that you need to understand is that you are going to work with the render film transparent don't forget to that to activate that film transparent and in case you have the background, you need to render your background separately from your subject, from your 3D model. Okay, so I'm going to activate the background. That's how it looks. Let me just switch it off and switch off the noise, as you can see. This is what I have already. So if you're having an animation, you need to render that animation image sequence and then use that as an image background. Okay, do not use your entire background. Just construct it the way you want it, uh, light it the way you want it, and then switch off your entire subject. In my case, it's um, Jor, but I, I don't think this is going to be disappearing anytime soon. So, uh, where is that? Here we go. Body. Yeah, even if I switch all of these things off. Yeah, you need to switch off your entire 3D character. I'm not going to do it right now because it's going to take a lot of time. So, once you have it off, render out that image background and then use that image background and plug it here into the background image location. So that's that. And then switch off your background. You don't need it anymore. Okay, so that's how it looks. And then you need the noise. This is a specific noise that I'm using for this character. So I'm going to plug it into the noise image in. And from there on, you can switch the noise size. You can, I don't know, probably the compression is uh, doing its thing. But I have it right there. And the noise opacity as well. You can make it very, very light or very um, contrasty so that you can work your thing in your composition. So that's basically it. So now let's talk about what you can do with your own scene. And the first thing you want to do, as I mentioned before, is to download Blender 3.5. This is, this is only working on Blender 3.5. You are go you're going to come here into Edit, Preferences, Interface, Developer Extras, mark that. This button will appear, activate it, and from there you can select this one, Full Frame Compositor. Mark it, and then Save Preferences, Restart Blender 3.5, and from there on you can open your scene, which is going to be this scene, simple scene, right? Now let's imagine that you have already this magnificent render between two fighting mechas, right? And it looks dull, it looks just, you know, plain. You need, you need stuff, you need the juice, the anime juice in this thing. So what you want to do is to come here into the compositor, activate use nodes, 
and from there on you will target with file append you will target the file that you have downloaded right now post rt compositor blah blah append once you do that it will open the blend file then inside there is a folder hierarchy you're going to navigate into the node tree and from there you're going to target anime cell shading so append shift a and you can you're going to come down here into group i already appended so that's why you uh, i'm seeing double but let's just use this one and you're going to shift a do the append thing come here at the anime cell shading group and then you're going to connect the image to the image and the image out to the composite it is specifically this node composite okay once you do that you can come here switch on into sh full shaded view okay so your lights everything is going to affect your character and from there drop down menu compositor click on camera this will activate the um, the shader node specifically to be viewed on the camera additionally and please do not forget this is very important select your camera i'm sorry camera and then viewport display right there mark your passport passport out sorry all the way to one just to crop this thing and do this um, composition just right and as you notice we're missing the background image so shift a add your background image i'm going to be adding this um i have it right here um uh, this image right here okay navigate to your folders image menu whatever which is proportional to this um camera size as you can see the camera from the output properties 1920 by 1080 connect this thing to the background image and it's not working right because you need also to connect your alpha so don't forget connect image in and then alpha from that render layer now mr schiller this is wrong my image does not fit the size my image is a little bit smaller what can i do you can easily add one node which we call scale scale and with that you're going to connect it into your background before going into the viewer background in you're going to switch the relative to render size and now it will adjust itself and anything that goes beyond that let's just crop it so it will proportionally um, orient or stretch itself as it should all right we're getting there now the final touch will be adding a noise image because we cannot generate noise at the moment inside the compositor so we need to create it outside and then bring it on so i have this noise png image which you will also find in the your forger uh, file just connected there and now you correctly see this thing render it kind of looks good um it could look better if you have a better background because the anime effect scene it's going to depend a lot on the color palette that you use and many other factors which i am at the moment writing on my blog and i will publish this so that you will not miss and you can also expand your own vision to create the classical anime cell shading effect in blender in real time okay so don't miss out don't forget to subscribe uh, here to the channel if this was useful for you and don't forget to follow me on my social networks but i will specifically ask you to consider supporting this project the c77 c79 project in patreon if you can or you can follow me for the public updates also please consider subscribing to my blog because i continually post all of the interesting things about anime production and the technical side of things and real time of course produced with blender thank you very much and let me ask you something have you tried blender try blender blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible this episode and files were brought to you by the support of our patrons they get files and videos three to four weeks before public release they get it earlier if you want to get direct files, direct help with your stylized anime 3D models and other production questions, consider joining our Patreon. Thank you very much and I wish you a great 2023.